person that I'll be briefing on will be uh, about a video uh, that has surfaced. Uh, MPD is aware of the video that has surfaced on social media depicting an MPD member using force against the subject. I have watched this video. I am embarrassed, disturbed, disheartened, and ashamed of what I've seen. We are an agency of more than 3,500 officers, and I assure the community this is not consistent with our training, our tactics, our policies, procedures, nor is it consistent with our agency's values. This incident will be referred to the United States Attorney's Office today for prosecutorial consideration and subsequent investigation by MPD's Internal Affairs Division. While getting illegal firearms is a priority for safer communities, this is not the way we train our members to get illegal firearms off the streets. On Sunday, August 8, 2021, officers report witnessing a hand-to-hand -hand drug transaction. Officers eventually stopped an individual, conducted a brief pat down, and felt the bulge of a firearm in the subject's waist area. As a result of this encounter, three MPD officers, police powers have been revoked and those officers have been placed in a non-contact status pending criminal and administrative investigations. MPD prides itself on treating everyone with respect, even when we are recovering guns and taking some of our most violent criminals off of our streets. It will be done constitutionally and respectfully. Our standard as police officers are intentionally set high. This is to ensure we have the support and trust of the communities we serve. This video does not reflect that standard. 